so we are again uh, unboxing uh, another camera equipment and it's been uh, a while when we created uh, an unboxing video because some people they are uh, saying that you are creating too many unboxing videos so I wanted to uh, show this uh, equipment because uh, this is more very important uh, to photographers because uh, the light is something which is uh, the main or, or the key area in photography and, and this gadget is the light meter and it helps a lot uh, uh, taking exposures of the frames or, or probably uh, any of the environment wherein you are you have varied uh, varied lighting so this helps you a lot so let us uh, unbox this video <coughs> i got this light meter delivered from uh, uh, discountsview.com and uh, this is a very good website uh, and delivered my equipment in less than 24 hours i ordered it on monday somewhere in the evening and the packet got delivered uh, around 4 p.m. on Tuesday. So they were very fast. Their prices are very competitive. You can go on to the website discounts, D-I-S-C-O-U-N-T-S, vu.com. So let us unbox uh, this. So very nicely packed, you cannot uh, damage it during the transit. This is the invoice. I got this uh, light meter. Uh, this is L758 from Siconic and the price uh, is 41,000 rupees. nicely bubble wrap so that uh, it doesn't get damaged in the transit. Okay, so here's the one. Uh, this is Siconic uh, L758DR variant. Uh, in 758 we have three variants. One is D, one is DR and the next one is Cine. So uh, D is, is, is the normal light meter and it does all the functionality that, that this meter does. Uh, the only difference between D and DR is that a DR comes with a radio frequency in case you're using uh, the pocket wizard which is a remote triggering system. So uh, you, you need DR for that, for triggering your uh, uh, flashes. Uh, the next model which is Cine, uh, uh, though all these 758 they have Cine controls, but then uh, uh, the Cine model, which which is specifically DL75, uh, DL758DR, uh, sorry Cine, uh, has some extra controls for uh, cinematographers. So let's open this one. Okay, so what comes out of the box is uh, a warranty card. This light meter holds two years warranty in India. Next is a cord uh, which you can connect uh, to your PC. You can, uh, uh, I mean, uh, you can store some camera profiles in this light meter. So uh, any metering that you do uh, with respect to the uh, specific model of camera, it can also be stored. So next is uh, the driver's CD for the meter and the software which, which comes along with it and the manual battery ok so there you have the meter very nice cover. Okay. So this is the first look of the meter. So let me just show you what all do we have on this meter is. 
uh, at the top that you see is the light sensor. Okay. In case if we are uh, measuring the incident light, so uh, you just have to uh, pop it out and then you can measure the light which is actually falling on your subject. So this meter can uh, be used to uh, measure two types of light. One is the incident light and the second one is the reflected light. So uh, a reflected uh, light meter is there in each uh, DSLR wherein you can measure the light which is actually falling on the subject and being reflected from the subject when it comes to the, to the camera. But then the incident meter is something that you get uh, 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 only in the light meters. So uh, incident uh, uh, light is also very important because uh, uh, what happens in reflected light, a lot of lights probably would be falling on the subject and uh, uh, when, when those lights get reflected, so your camera might get fooled around. But then in incident, you can actually measure the light from the main light source that you have kept around in the environment and then uh, it, it actually measures that light and then gives you the correct reading. So, uh, you can change the modes uh, from incident to reflected and from reflected to incident by moving this dial here. Next one you, ha you have is a power button and then uh, ISO, there are two ISO buttons in this light meter. You can, you can uh, keep two ISO settings and check the, uh, the relevant uh, uh, setting that uh, this light meter gives you. Okay. Uh, there's something different uh, in, in this light meter other than uh, other light meters which are available in the market uh, from the from the same uh, manufacturer also which is Siconic like 308, 358. Uh, this one comes with uh, uh, a kind of viewfinder. You can actually point it towards the subject and take a spot metering of the reflected light. So this is very useful in case uh, uh, you're shooting at a place wherein uh, probably the background is very far away and you cannot actually walk down to that background and you can uh, uh, take the reflected lead, uh, reading out of it. So, uh, let us uh, put the battery in it. Okay, so light meter is very helpful when you are using uh, your strobes, uh, the manual strobe that you have because they are not TTL and you want to set a manual exposure for all of them. So uh, you can use incident as well as reflected uh, mode of this light meter and then uh, uh, it will help you to uh, create that kind of light mode that you want in your uh, shot. And it's a very useful tool if you want to master the light. I must recommend this to all the uh, all the photographers who use uh, strobes for their uh, uh, photography. That is it on the light meter. Thanks all for watching this video and uh, happy clicking.